Here we go, we'll do a little bit of jump stitching with uh, System 3's gel matching in tube. This is the greatest stuff since cheese in a can. Just kind of put the nozzle on, you can see how the two colors mix in the uh, in the nozzle. The blue turns into uh, kind of a cream color. Just kind of stick it along the groove with the little tip that comes with it. Just kind of slowly squeeze. It'd be nicer if I had a, uh, a gun with a little more power. One thing I did earlier was I laid the tube on top of the, a little heater to kind of warm it up. And uh, tended to make it come out just a little bit easier. And that's about all it is. Just come down and squeeze in a little bit. I think you need a little more. Doing a backstroke. And the other little trick I like to do, use, as I take a side strap here, is take the old uh, AARP cards. And kind of, if you got a little bit of dribble or scrape, you can scrape all the good gel magic back into the groove. I got most of the uh, boats all done. I'm going to go back and check it out. And see where I got some, uh, but I need a little bit more here and there. Uh, there's a couple places where I had some wide seams. Um, you just kind of weave it back and forth like you're uh, welding. Just kind of a little up and down motion. Stick it in the corners. If it wants to sag out, put a little bit of masking tape over the top of it and hold it in place until it cures. On all my prototype designs, I usually have some sort of slight gap, -y, gap problem. Um, going from a model like this into making the full-size boat. Sometimes I'll have some changes I have to make because I can't, you know, the thickness of the uh, pencil line could be a quarter of an inch in full scale. So uh, I haven't. I don't really worry about it because I got my gel magic and a little bit of creative dam building uh, in areas that are uh, most people might think are too wide. Uh, it's uh, very viscous and so you can just kind of squirt it out and like I said earlier just kind of weld it back and forth and plug it into a spot that you might think, yeah, that's never going to work. And I do a lot of boats where Gel magic has come to my my rescue.